Assessment 3 video presentation. My image of the teacher revolves around being a learner alongside the child and their families, not someone of a higher status that knows all. There is a lot a teacher can learn from listening to families, children and the wider community to expand their knowledge and deepen their own pedagogy. A teacher should be able to see children as capable and confident learners and allow them to explore and discover new things on their own so that they have the chance to become independent learners that can problem solve. I believe children use their prior knowledge of experiences to build on knowledge they do not simply absorb what they are taught. Teachers need to be able to plan experiences in order for the children to discover these themselves. A teacher is there as a guide for children to succeed, not someone that forces them to do so. As a pre-service teacher, I see myself as always willing to constantly learn and grow. I see myself as eager and ready to teach, although I do still get nervous of the thought of having a classroom of children under my watch. I am mostly excited about finishing my course and getting myself out there more and more. Looking back at my first year units and how I saw myself then compared to now has changed quite a lot. I was a bit naive in what I thought a teacher did. I was so caught up in what sort of teacher I didn't want to become that I didn't really let myself explore different styles of pedagogy. The words I used to describe my teaching style were basic personality traits that anyone can have, such as kind, patient and encouraging. While teachers do need to have these traits, that's not how I would describe myself now. I would use words like leader, self-sacrifice, approachable and professional. And I would say my pedagogy at the moment at least is leaned towards a Reggio Emilia and Rudolf Steiner approach. Both are very nature-based. Reggio Emilia being mostly child-led and Rudolf Steiner's being environmentally and child-led. Teachers should always interact with families and their children in a calm and welcoming way. The first meeting between a teacher and family will set the tone for the subsequent relationships that occur after that. A positive way to interact with families and make them feel involved in their children's education is to ask questions about the child and familiarise yourself with their routine outside of the classroom. Simple questions such as the child's likes, dislikes, particular indication words or rituals that are used in the home can be great questions to ask. These can be brought into the classroom to make the child feel comfortable and safe. Ensuring your classroom is highly diverse space is also a great way to interact positively with families and show them that you are accepting of all different family structures and different belief systems that the families may abide by. To me, advocacy is being able to su be supportive of children and their families and to help solve issues, needs and interests of an individual or group within existing frames of reference. In order for me to be an advocate for children and their families, I need to be able to voice ideas, practices and take on board what is best for children and their families. <laughs> this ensures I am keeping observant and free of prejudice. Along a similar line, activism is questioning assumptions on policy and promoting through action. In order to be an effective teacher, I believe I need to be able to use both advocacy and activism to expand and deepen of teaching approach. I will strive to be a child's champion and work with others to build a coalition and speak with one voice as an organisation or collective to ensure that all children have the equity and rights they all deserve.